Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today we'll be discussing some important theorems in binomial uh, theorem chapter where we can help us understand how these techniques work, where we can evaluate and almost any kind of binomial sum using calculus. So this uh, lecture is completely devoted to the fact that we are trying to explore different kinds of sums in binomial theorems, which might trouble you at some point or the other. Uh, and this uh, theorems and this sums can be exploited through calculus. So I'm going to show you how. So uh, we will take, for instance, the very first one, uh, n equals to zero. Uh, let's not do n as three. Let's keep n as the variable and r as the dummy variable. r equals to zero to n and choose r. It's a very standard one and this is known as two to the power n, correct? Now, all of these summations, where do they emerge from and how do I uh, eventually get a hold of any kind of summation uh, I want to have, okay? And so bear with me, let us develop a technique to do so. First, consider the expansion, consider the expansion of one plus x whole to the power n. So basically what happens is one plus x whole to the power n is nothing but r equals to zero to n and you can even write this as infinity because well, in that case as well, it gives you the same answer, x to the power r. Is this correct? Now, our basis of operation with all n choose r elements would be this, n choose r, x to the power r. Okay. And uh, we will try to evaluate different kinds of uh, summations with the help of this. So let us see a few different kinds of summations, including the ones you already know. So let's say number two. You guys know about the summation r equals to 0 to n r into n choose r. What would this mean in expanded notation? This would mean simply 0 into n choose 0 plus 1 into n choose 1 plus 2 into n c 2 and all the way up to n into n c n. Right? Now, you might know already that this is equals to n into 2 to the power n minus 1. And there is a way to prove it by uh, inducing r inside the binomial coefficient n then solving for it, correct. But uh, what if there is another way and that way would be so much useful in uh, finding even higher powers. If suppose it was not a R and it was a R cube, what would you do then? So consider X as a variable and start with the following identity. So let us begin with the identity R equals to zero to N, N C R X to the power R, equals to 1 plus x whole to the power n, where x is a variable, okay? Since x is a variable and both the sides are finite, we can differentiate with respect to x. What happens when you differentiate inside a summation? So nothing else will change. You are simply going to differentiate this term x to the power r with respect to x, and everything will remain as it is. So according to the rule, this should be r into x to the power r minus 1, correct? And now you see, you have a are inside the summation which in otherwise which otherwise would have been not possible in any other way you cannot simply introduce the r which is the variable of the summation itself inside a summation and on the right hand side similarly you should have one plus x whole to the power n minus one put x equals to one to get the identity that you want so x equals to one simply gives you this identity doesn't it now again you might again want to have uh, r squared what do we do? We need another r. So multiply x on both sides, and this would give you r equals to <clears throat> 0 to n r n c r x to the power r equals to n x whole to the power whole into 1 plus x whole to the power n minus 1. So you understand. Again, I made this, made this as an x to the power r so that when I differentiate it again on both sides, I again get a multiplication of r inside the summation which would result in a r square and then I again put x equals to 1 here. So this is how I can find out any power. So basically what I can do is this. I can claim that I can find out any power r to the power alpha where alpha is a natural number and choose r. So this is possible. This is possible for me to find out. It might take some time but it is definitely possible and we have a complete algorithm to do so. Now, let's talk about integration and how it is useful in the same way. So, you may have seen the summation uh, r equals to 0 to n, n c r by r plus 1. 
So how do we do this? So again, we are now going to, so whenever you have something in the denominator, we always think of integrations because in integration, the extra coefficients always go in the denominator, correct? So 1 by r plus 1, this can be written as ncr into 1 by r plus 1, which is in turn written as 0 to 1 x to the power r dx, correct? This means that you can now, now this is a finite sum of an integral, which is also finite in nature. So you can write this as integral of a sum because both the property, both the operators are additive and this is a finite sum. There is no point in uh, talking about conversions about a sum which has finitely many terms. So this would simply give you ncr f to the power r, wouldn't it? Dx. But you already know the value of the summation inside. We have already talked about this and this is nothing but 1 plus x whole to the power n. This is the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power n, isn't it? which means we have this integration at our hand, which would give you 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. And this would go from 1 to 0. And this would give you 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. This is your answer. And in a similar way, you can find other types of summations once you get to represent them using r plus 1 and stuff. So all this uh, type of things should be available inside uh, my app, basically, where I will launch the class calculus scratch course, where you will see all these different ways of evaluating sums and products and integrals uh, using calculus, which would help you immensely in your JE main scratch course and as well as in your JE advanced journey. So hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section how you like it. And the app, the app link is in the description. So. Please do download it and let me know how you liked it. Thank you.